Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. I want to talk about the uh, fight that's uh, happening tomorrow, uh, Errol Smith versus Mikey Garcia or Mikey Garcia versus Errol Smith Jr. Uh, which way, it don't matter. But my prediction, this is a prediction video, and my prediction is, um, it, it, it's like I say, I still stick to what I'm saying. Uh, I say, I say a, uh, Mikey Garcia is coming up uh, really one-weight class because he fought at 140, like I think two times. I'm think uh, if I bet, if I'm not mistaken, but he he had fought at 140, so he went back down when he started at 135, and that's why he uh, started and then to fight Earl Spence. So that's why they talk about two weight classes. This is trying to hype up the fight at the same time, but um, at the same time, my mother Mikey Garcia said uh, Earl Spence is like is like himself when he was younger. I think Mikey Garcia picked Earl Spence Jr. too at the same time because. He picked him for a reason to fight him. He sees something, which I believe that too. But I believe he he, uh, he sees two at the same time, which nobody's not saying. Maybe he might he maybe he might be uh, not so much experienced to a fact that because uh, uh, he's only got twenty four wins and twenty one knockouts, and he's still young too at the same time. He's like twenty eight years old. I mean, he ain't that young in age, but he's young as I'm thinking. Why well, Mike Garcia picked him as in. Um, He's a my Mike Garcia's got thirty what thirty nine fights thirty thirty nine uh I mean thirty nine fights and thirty wins thirty knockouts so um but the thing about it is Earl uh Mike Garcia said he picked uh um he said he knew he could beat Earl Smith Jr. and he wanted to fight Earl Smith Jr. because of uh Lamont Peterson fight and uh I'm thinking Mike Garcia's throwing everybody off a little bit um. Maybe he probably did see something in the uh, Lamar Peterson fight, but I don't think that he would tell us what uh, what he sees in Errol Smith and what and, and what fight it was in. You know what I'm saying? Because Errol Smith will go back and look at the tape. So I would think I'm thinking like this. I'm thinking maybe the Carol Brook fight and um, a couple of other fights before even Carol Brook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Errol Smith got to look at two at the same time. Um, no, it was only it was one fight that Errol Spence got a he got he got sh shaken he was shaking up and that was a manual the, the African dude I'm thinking he was a he was an African dude or something like that from Africa or something like that but he didn't want he, he's the only one that rocked Errol Spence Jr. threw him off a little bit but Kerr Brook uh, I'm not saying that uh, Errol Spence wasn't hurt but he didn't show it I mean of course. Um, I'm not saying he he was walking through those punches either, but he wasn't really he wasn't hurt. Uh, but uh, for what I see, just looking at outside looking in, like looking at the TV, I mean, because Earl Kerr Brook, he's a he's a big welterweight just like Earl Spence Jr. But um, Earl Spence was giving him his uh, um, was throwing hard punches too, and Kerr Brook was taking it until um, Earl Spence had more a little bit more energy in him and, uh, and and took him out because of his eye situation. It wasn't like a knockout; it was because Kerr Brook gave up, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but the thing about it is, I'm thinking that Mike Garcia was looking at Lamont Peterson fight, Kerr Brook, and um, Al Jury, and, uh, and another fight that Errol Spencer was in. Because you, you just can't, I, I don't I don't believe that he's going to tell us what fight that he's seen, he seen something that really caught his attention that, and why he picked Errol Spencer Jr. Because he'd be giving up, he'd be giving up what he, he, because if he said, because he said Lamont Peterson, only thing Earl Smith's got to do is look at the fight and and see what he's doing wrong and, and, and to fix it. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't it ain't too much. Of, it not it's not too much of what Earl Smith can. It's not too much of things that he need to fix. Maybe he need to fix a couple of things, but not a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but the thing about it, I still say it's sixty forty because uh, Mike Garcia haven't fought at this weight, and it's not like Earl Smith is fighting at a weight that. Uh, 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 Mike Garcia's fighting in, or you know what I'm saying, fought or fought in, you know what I'm saying? So he's coming up and he's fighting Errol Smith Jr. And um I'm just I'm just thinking that he, he I think he definitely sees something. I think he see uh I, I mean I, I believe he sees something, but I think too at the same time he's he, it's a couple of things that Errol Smith is doing wrong or he um uh, that caught his attention too at the same time, maybe, you know what I'm saying? So but at the same time um, those fighters that Errol Spence fought, uh, they was bigger than uh, Mike Garcia and probably punch harder than Mike Garcia, maybe. But 
if Mike Garcia can take Errol Spence's punches, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a really interesting uh, boxing match, you know. What I'm saying and, and vice versa too at the same time. But I don't see Errol, I don't see Mike Garcia knocking out Errol Spence Jr. Maybe knocking him down, you know. So maybe that. But that's the that's the that's the thing about it. it's that, it's so tricky. We don't I don't know what's gonna go in this fight. Uh, but but Mike Garcia is gonna have to outbox him, which I. I, I, I'm still that's, that's still up to up to grab a debate because I still don't his foot movement is it's is good but his his foot speed movement is not that not like Mayweather's you see what I'm saying so and then uh, Errol Spence took on Earl, uh, my, my, uh, Floyd Mayweather and, and his sparring and did great you know it's about Ellaby uh, 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 Leonard Ellaby. Um, you know, CEO of Mayweather's promotion said he did great. You know, so I remember he says, uh, I remember reporters asking him about the uh, Errol Spence gave uh, Floyd Mayweather a black guy, and then Leonard Ellaby didn't didn't he did not say that it was that was true or not. He just said, "No, nah, we ain't talking about that," which I believe that it was true. You see what I'm saying? So uh, if Errol Spence can fight my, Floyd Mayweather, I know it's sparring, and just like. Mike Garcia uh, fought Marcus Madonna and broke his rib, but that's not Mike. That's not Errol Spence Jr. And but Errol Spence did fight the the first uh, the person who's who's the Jordan of uh, boxing. That's uh, Floyd Mayweather. So that's why I feel like Errol Spence will take on anybody and try to prove himself to be the uh, the, the best in the professional boxing. And Mike Garcia too at the same time. I don't think this is a money grab for uh, Mike Garcia. I feel like. Uh, Mike Garcia sees something and he's gonna try to uh, uh, he's gonna try to take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we're gonna see. This is gonna be an interesting fight. Everybody saying that Mike Garcia's gonna get knocked out and he ain't gonna make it past the fifth round. I don't know about that. We we'll see. Uh, uh, I say that he might go past five, and if he go past five, I think uh, Mike Garcia's gonna wear down and he's gonna get uh, they could probably go throw in the town, he's gonna get knocked out. But if it go 12 rounds, I'm going to say this. That means that you know, uh, Mike Garcia lasted in there and did what he had to do. That means that I, I would say Mike Garcia, but that's if Mike Garcia didn't get knocked down and get up. You know what I'm saying? So, um, But we're going to see in this fight what's going to happen. This is a prediction video. I think that uh, I'm, I think Earl Smith is going to. Definitely have advantage over uh, Mike Garcia. And that's what make. That's why I give credit to Mike Garcia. He's coming up one weight class, and uh, he's fighting the bigger guy. And uh, you know, saying Errol Spence is not a pushover, and it's not a money grab for. Uh, uh, it's not a money grab for uh, Errol Spence Jr. Um, you know, so maybe he might be thinking that. Uh, I don't think uh, Errol Spence is uh, underestimating uh, Mike Garcia because Mike Garcia has picked you for a reason, bro. So, um, so you gotta do what you gotta do, and Mike Garcia's gonna do what he's gonna uh, go how to do. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna definitely see. This is an interesting match, but uh, what do y'all think? Do you think it's gonna go past five? Do you think um, Mike Mike Garcia got the punching power to knock out Earl Spence, Earl Spence Jr. or knock him down? Do you think that do you, if Earl Spence, I mean, if Mike Garcia be uh, knock knock out Earl Spence, would that we, do you think he'll put that put him over in, in path for pound number one? Which I believe that I believe that it depends on how he beat Earl Smith Jr. <coughs> but excuse me, <coughs> but at the same time we'll see. Uh, like and subscribe for my video. Uh, hit the notification for new videos from me. This is JT for Above the Belt. I right, bye.